Right then, hello and welcome to Bailey's. In this little video, we are looking at the all new Knockpix Mate series of front thermal clip-ons. Uh, on the front here, you can see I've got the H50R. So this is the one that's got the 640 sensor. Um, and you can see it here mounted on the front of the Leopold. The mounting system that I've used for this is from Rusan. It's the Mar S4. Uh, and this aids in mounting this straight on to the front of your scope with a quick release system. So I can literally just rotate that, take that off, put it wherever I want, put it back on, twist lock, and it's guaranteed to hold point of impact when mounted on the front of your scope. Absolutely brilliant way of mounting it. You can also mount this onto a Picatinny rail if you wanted to mount it forward of a scope that's got a continuous rail like an Acuris International or AR platform. Um, but so far, massively, massively impressed. Looking at the unit itself, you've got a metal front flip-up cover, which has actually got an elbow in it, which helps it seat nicely straight on top there, as you can see that elbow there. So it really does seat perfectly and create a nice weather seal. Battery compartments in the top, which is nice and simple, runs on a single 18650 battery, and the life expectancy of them batteries is superb when you're out in the field. Um, on this side, I will put a picture. There is your focus, your on and off, your menu, and your um, menu control options on the side for your quick shortcut for color palettes and all that sorts of stuff. Uh, so absolutely bang on. On this side, you've got USB Type-C uh, for data. And then you've got the LRF module on the front here as well. Just so you've got a more in-depth view, this is the bayonet system working. Push this up to 12 o'clock, the system comes off. These are the mounting lugs on the top. We've got the quick release battery compartment, which opens up and you've got your 18650 in there. Press that down, push that forwards. On the front, we've got our lens and LRF module. And then on this side, we've got the focus, your power, your menu, and your selectors for going through that. Long press on the menu button will bring up the full menu. One single press will bring up the color palettes and um, contrast and sharpness, etc. So to give you guys a general idea of what I can see through the day scope, this is a gong at 100 yards with a 2-2 rimfire. So we're going to take a shot on there. As you can see, hit the gong no problem. Then we can take the thermal off like this and you should still be able to see the gongs there. Take another shot. Hits the gong. And then I can put this thermal back on. And it's absolutely banging. Not only that, as I said, the quick options are here so we can change the colors, your brightness, contrast. Uh, that's your sharpness mode. You've got image sharpening there for if it's uh, wet out. Highly moist, that's ultra clear mode. Um, you've got all sorts to play with. If you long press and hold, that brings up the full system there for calibrating the thermal to your scope, um, as well as doing the auto aperture and auto record and the Wi Fi, etc. So nice and simple to use, works really well. And you've also got the magic zoom function, which uh, you can see in Jake's video where he puts the magic zoom on and it zooms in and out with the screen calibrating as well. This is the Mate H50R in action on the front of my rimfire. Um, these are available in four different options. The Mate Lite with a 384 by 288 sensor, the H38R and the H50R with a 640 by 512 sensor, and the Ultra S60R with a 1280 by 1024 sensor. These all run at a frame rate of 60 hertz, so nice and smooth. They all run on 18650 batteries, and the light will come with two batteries. The H50 and the H38 will come with three, and the Ultra will come with four batteries. And these are also IP67 waterproof rated. These also include a built-in RRF capable of 1200 meter detection range, and you can have the onboard ballistics work with you to provide you with a solution for a shot.
Also add that you can mount this onto various rifles and save different profiles and ballistic profiles so you can swap it between calibers. So as you can see, I mean me personally, I'm a thermal scope guy, that's what I run. I run the S60 on my 22-250. But for the guys and gals out there that are running a fixed parallax scope, deer stalking rifles, where they really enjoy their glass through the day, being able to strap one of these on the front, calibrate it to your scope, and give you that opportunity to continue shooting even after it's gone dark for fox management or anything else. Um, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, this hasn't skipped a beat on the 2.2 rimfire or on the 6.5 Creed where I ran it on the front of the Accurus International for a while um, and it was dropping foxes absolutely perfectly. So if you want any information on the Mate H50R you can visit the knockpicks.uk website. Uh, you can also find your nearest stockist and um, get your hands on. Uh, for the mounting systems that we use, like I said, they are Rusan mounts. You can get in touch with them on their website or via Instagram. They are the system I would recommend. That quick detach and return system where it's not affecting your point of impact is absolutely impeccable. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.